everybody and welcome to Craft World Live. It's Friday afternoon, it's 12.30 and that means we have got brand new products to bring you. And today we are looking at Daisy May Designs. We've not seen anything from the designer Claire Rowlands for a little while, so I'm really excited because these are absolutely beautiful. We are, of course, giving away a huge amount of product. So there's going to be three winners during this hour, all you need to do is be commenting. Now you may be watching on Facebook through the Craft Stash page, you may be watching on YouTube, or you may be watching on craftworld.com. Wherever you are, please do comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know how much you love these designs. Say hello to Claire as well, because we don't get her in as often as we'd love to. And of course, any of you could be the winners. We will randomly pick three winners, or one from each platform, to win a bundle of the brand and new collections. So we do have a deal as well with these. So we have got the Grooming Marvellous, which is all dogs. Now I'm going to let Claire take you through these in a little bit of detail in a moment. But we've got five new stamp sets for Grooming Marvellous. We're talking about dogs, absolutely beautiful. We're talking about poodles, getting the curls done and everything. They are stunning, all hand drawn by Claire. We'll see Claire in just a moment. Obviously we have to keep the distance. So she's to the side and I will come in and let her do her magic in a moment. With the, we've then got the second collection as well, and that is called Love is in the Air. Now, Love is in the Air will coordinate beautifully with the Grooming Marvellous. We do have a demonstration from Claire with each collection, so you get to see them both in detail. Now, with these two new collections on craftstash.co.uk, you're going to be able to get an amazing offer. So if you are spending over £20 across these two collections, you're going to get 20% off, and that is automatically going to be reduced at checkout for you. We've then got some other deals as well. Just to tie in, we have got the beautiful cross-stitch nesting dies. There's lots of six different designs to choose from. You've seen the nesting dies from Claire from Daisy Made Designs before. You know how beautifully they cut. New designs, these are going to work so well with your stamped images. And these are on offer as well. So you can buy any two of these for $24.99. They're usually $13.99 each so there's another offer for you we've got lots more for example Sizzix there's up to 40% off so check out the website for that but I know you want to get into the demonstrations and you want to see exactly what Claire has got to offer so my lovely Claire would you like to come in and I introduce will. your new stamp set? I will I will bring her in and I'll pass her the chair as well because I know you like oh, to have a chair there we go I'm going to take a seat I'm going to perch down on this I will say hello to a few people in a moment I'll let Claire show you what she's got and then we'll say hello while she gets set up for her I need a ladder to get on the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> here we go so our first um, collection is Grooming Marvellous it features a couple of cats and lots of different dogs uh, doggy kennels going to the uh, Poodle Parlour, Fifi's, um, and then we've got a collection of dogs, uh, Dalmatians, a Bulldog, a little uh, Terrier dog, oh. and a Naughty Cat pushing over a fish bowl. Can we have a look at a couple of those on the close-up camera? Is yeah. that okay? This is... Ooh. My arms need stretching. Need okay. <laughs> so this is our pet collection of our dogs. So we've got a little Dalmatian pup down there with a the little cat. Here's the naughty cat here. Beautiful. And it's got four different sentiments on it. Stunning. And then we've got the fish and the bone that they're dreaming about. These very little useful paw prints there. And then we've got Fifi's Poodle Parlour. Fifi's? How Fifi's. did you come up with that name? I don't know. Is it just, just Fifi. random? Fifi's. <laughs> and a cheeky little cat, because he wants to go in the Poodle Parlour. And a little topiary tree. Then we've got the pussy cat and the little Frenchie in the uh, bathtub, bubbly <laughs> bathtub. The little Frenchie there with his... Uh, Tal turban on. Gorgeous. And then we've got our po uh, a poodle in rollers. 
I love that. That is just absolutely adorable. Claire's done some amazing examples with these, so hopefully we'll get a chance to show you those in detail. While she's demonstrating, or maybe afterwards, we'll have a little bit of a break and show some of those, because your colouring is phenomenal. Oh, thank you. And our naughty little beagle there, chewing oh. the trainer with the, the dog kennel. My dog chews trainers. I really? need that. Yeah, I need that stamp set. That's going to be next year's Christmas card, I think. <laughs> <laughs> our, our Alfie we used to be terrible for slippers. We no longer yes. have Alfie, but uh, he sadly died and we lost him. And oh. He used to be terrible for slippers. That oh. was his forte. Shall slippers. we have a look at the next collection when you uh, before you demonstrate that yeah. one? Yeah, so the first collection you've just seen there from Claire is Grooming Marvellous. Um, and then the next one is, that we're now looking at is Love is in the Air. So if you're searching on the website for it, to get that 20% off, that's what you'll need to type in the search bar. Okay, so first of all we have... Now, these are brand new to me today, so I'm not quite sure of the names. I mean, it would help if I put the glasses on. This is the So Long stamp set, and it features two little uh, sausage dogs, Dash Hounds, or Dash Hounds, whatever, yeah. however you pronounce them. I say Dash Hounds, but Dash Hounds. I'm probably wrong, don't I? And short, or long, short of Leg, Long in Love. Oh, oh I love that. So Long. Well, they are long, but would you put that on that card that you were breaking up with somebody? So, so yeah. Why? <laughs> mm. um, you know, we've got him in his little berry in his uh, French t-shirt, and she's in her little tutu with her little bow in her hand, and we've got a heart-shaped blue and a little red rose. I love those. And then we've got just the two of us. Obviously, Valentine's is coming up, so these are going to work really well, aren't they? Oh, definitely, yeah. So we've got our uh, pair of little lovebirds here. A little yes. branch we can sit them on. Our Aww. hibiscus flower. Our little leaves. Lovely. And sentiments. I love that. So they're, they're lovebirds, are they? Are they actually? Yeah, they are. yeah, I've not seen lovebirds before. Well, that was my take on <laughs> oh, <okay>. lovebirds. <laughs> I don't know whether they're, at a, what, whatever you say, atomically uh -oh. correct. Okay. We'll take but, your word for it, yeah. Claire knows her animals. And <laughs> then we've got our sitting pretty stamp set, which features a bicycle with a little uh, Frenchie in the front, in the basket, oh. and a little flower delivery on the back. Gorgeous. Okay. So that, that, I mean, that bicycle could be used for so many things. Oh, well, it could, it? yeah. Not just for Valentine's, I'd use it for birthdays and things like that. Absolutely. As well. And then we've got our La Petite Fleur. Do you like my French pronunciation? Oh, you sound like we've just rolled out of Paris. <laughs> Which is our flower stall, market flower stall. Cool. Okay. Our little boxes of cacti, little box, uh, tub of roses, the topiary trees, our little mix of flowers which is nice, not just for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And then we've got another couple of dogs. This is called Dotty About You. And we've got our little uh, schnauzer. <laughs> okay. Our big Dalmatian. And our bone in a heart-shaped box. Beautiful. And some stamp so I can't believe you've hand-drawn these. Because you are so talented Thank there. Thank you. Um, so I'm really excited. What are you going to be demonstrating first? First of all, I'm going to demonstrate blue, uh, grooming marvellous. Grooming, <laughs> grooming marvellous. Sorry about that, everyone. I'm sure they okay. knew what you meant. I'll take that from you. Now, I'm going to say hello to a few people while you just get okay. them you're probably well prepared already. I'll scroll back to the beginning of the comments. Uh, Avril uh, and Cheryl, hello to you, and Marta and Stephanie, uh, hello to Caroline Reynolds, to Benita, to Linda, to Elaine, to Mavis, to Julie. I could say hello to, there's so many of you. I apologise, I'm sure I don't get to say hello to everybody throughout the hour. Um, everyone is loving these. If I scroll back down to where everybody's just seen the images, uh, Cheryl says the bite is stunning and so versatile. Benita says, oh my gosh. Um, Debbie Richards says gorgeous stamps. Uh, Michaela also loves the bicycle stamp. Well, you've got so much love for these. And I must say, my mum is a dog groomer. So these are, did I tell you that? No. I've waited until now to tell you that. My mum is a dog groomer, so I'm going to have to be getting these just to do her cards for the next 
wow. five years. <laughs> I wonder whether she could actually make um, little thank you cards or something. Yeah. When, when they know it's the dog's birthday, they can give out little cards with them. So what are you stamping? Okay, with? so I've stamped the little dog with the lead from the uh, pet collection. Oops, I've not inked him very well. Just let me get coffee on this chair. I do need longer arms. I think we need a smaller desk. It's bigger than I remember it. I've obviously not been to this studio in a while. Um, but this desk is much bigger than I recall. I'm sure it is, so it's not just you. Okay, so what I've done is... I'll show you all now. I've stamped him in desert sand because Gorgeous. at the moment I'm really into um, no line colouring, okay? Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up how we start off. So I've used, you can get by a, a no line stamp pads as well, which is like a, a greeny grey colour. Yeah. But for camera purposes today, I've used the desert sand. Okay. And first of all, when you start colouring, stamped him onto the cross stitch square one of the new dies okay yeah. we'll look at those in more detail in a little while but they are on offer at the moment and first of all um i mean the lights in the studio are good but sometimes in my studio the light is terrible it depends on what the lights like outside as well okay. so i always go round him first and what color is that this is a, a flesh colour. It's actually E quadruple zero and it's called floral white. Right, okay. So, so Claire absolutely adores her Copics. We were having this conversation before the show and she just can't find anything to compete. She's loved Copics for years. Have, um, so yeah. if you have your Copics or you're thinking about alcohol pens, then definitely these are the ones that I'm sure Claire would recommend. Yeah. Buy the best you can afford, otherwise it's false economy and you'll need to buy again absolutely okay so I'm just going over now in a very very pale warm grey and this is warm grey double zero and I'm just feathering away from the stamped image and what this does when the image is coloured in properly mm -hmm. it will make the image pop okay so normally I would go all the way round okay but mm -hmm. as by magic I've got one here that I've already uh, coloured in and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to ground him so it doesn't look like he's floating I'm just going to ground him on some grass okay so again I'm just gonna feather some green under his paws, like so. I'm just distracting Claire, everybody. I apologise. We're trying to get a nice close-up camera for you. So while she's cleverly working, you can see my hand just in the in the shot there. I'm just trying to get a nice close-up camera shot for you all, so you can see what she can see. Closer, as close as possible for you, so excuse me, because I know we want to see her colouring. I don't know if that's any easier for everyone to see or not. I'm getting a head shake then. I'm just... A little bit better. We can flip between to, the two, can't to we? To blend it out. I've put my lightest green dye first and then gone in with a mid-green and then blend it out. Sometimes I find I've gone too heavy. I'll go in with my blender and just blend it out. Do you use a clear blender a lot? No. No, you tend to just do the straight mixing yeah. of colours? Yeah. This doesn't blend the colours, it takes out the, the little mishaps you okay. have. If you, you know, pen goes over the line or, you know, you've gone a little bit dark, mm -hmm. it will um, bleach the colour out, so to speak. That's really lifting it off of the paper, isn't it? Yeah. As you can see now, 
Um, have I got this? I have got it the right way, haven't I? Yeah, yeah you're fine. People are um, actually saying that that's better. They can see. They can see. You will see how it one, how so. it pops. The image actually pops. Okay. So that's our little finished bulldog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and I forgot my sentiment, which I would put on there. Okay. Sorry. What sentiment would you choose? I would put miss missing you in these oh. times we're having at the moment. I would send this to somebody that I'm really missing. Absolutely. Um, because I think a lot of people have found a lot of solace at this time in yeah. their dogs. Oh, absolutely, definitely. Um, you've, you've got dog yourself we were talking about. got Harry. Harry. Yeah. Harry the pest. <laughs> the, yeah, we were, we were talking about our dogs, obviously, just before. Uh, Claire has her Harry, who you think is around... Two, two and a half. Two, yeah. Uh, so Harry is a rescue dog. He is. Would you like to tell everyone the, the, the breed? He's a cross between a Jack Russell and a Shih Tzu. Which is so that. he's got um, the markings of a Jack Russell, mm -hmm. same colour as a Jack Russell, um, and the legs and tail of a Shih Tzu, and the little... His face is squashed like a shit is it? as well. That's yeah. so unusual. But he doesn't have a top knot. <laughs> no, no. No, he's, no ribbon in his face. He's my jumble dog, what I call my jumble dog, That's because it. he's scared of the groomers. Aww. Okay, so it takes me three hours to chase him around the garden, clip for him. <laughs> the first time he went to the groomers, he was fine when we very first got him. He'd been mistreated. And. Aww. The second time I took him to the groomers, he wouldn't entertain it at all. No. So he came home uncut but bathed. And so we've taken to, uh, because of the way things are at the moment, taken to cutting him, us, you know, grooming him yeah. ourselves. Give him a little trim. He, oh wash. yeah, because otherwise um, he can't see properly. No, he does do go do very, that. and tomorrow, is grooming day, so I hope it's not oh. snowing tomorrow. Do you set aside a whole weekend? Yeah. For preparation? Yeah, it's it's hard work. He's a monkey. He'll get. Oh, we'll finish grooming him, and I've like chased him around the garden for three hours, and one part of him will always remain ungroomed because he's just had enough. So what I've done now is I've taken a piece of uh, coloured cardstock. Cut a square the same size as the front of the the card, the strip of card that I've cut, scored, folded in half. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I've uh, cut a piece of pink cardstock the same, and I've um, stuck it on foam pads at a jaunty angle. The next thing I'm going to do is I I don't think you'll be able to make out. But I've used the next size up in the cross stitch square. Okay. Um, Cut it out. back to the um, close up camera, we might be able to see that cross stitch detail around the edge. I am. When I get five minutes and I'm not in a hurry, I am going to um, have a. I like to add stitching to cards, so I thought this might look quite nice it would stitched. Look beautiful. You've okay. got the patience in the same play. You really I have, have to got do a lot that. of patience, <laughs> yeah. I think colouring in general is very relaxing. Oh, you it do is very have, therapeutic. You do need to have some patience, don't you? I think, yeah, definitely. To do it properly. Um, just going back to the dogs while you're, we can see you gluing and sticking your layers. Um, Amanda, I'm curious, you've got what you call two second-hand dogs, a Pedenko and three Mastiff Crosses. Sorry, four second-hand dogs, you've said. A Pedenko and three Mastiff Crosses. Now, I've got... A Mastin cross from Spain, so, and I know Pedenkos are from Spain as well, a lot of them, so I wonder if yours have come from abroad as well. Uh, so the three of us in this room, in this studio, we have Maria right up in the back with, on the cameras and doing all the beautiful shots for you. Obviously, we've got myself and Claire. All three of us have rescue dogs. So we have a little, a little rescue dog clan today. Doing this collection is absolutely perfect. Um, but I love seeing all your sort of your dog... Um, tails. Everyone's telling us what they've got. So Belinda has got a Border Collie and a Springer Spaniel and a Tabby Cat. That is a busy household. Uh, Jeanette has two Border Collies and two cats. But do, do the cat and the dogs get on? 
Harry doesn't get on with Bingo, our cat. No. So Bingo now lives. Don't call the RSPCA. She's well looked after. I'm sure she but is. she lives under the bath. <laughs> Don't um, ask. Okay, we won't ask, but I'm sure she's happy. And she got on so well with Alfie. Mm -hmm. Um, she would terrorise Alfie. When Alfie was asleep, she used to do all sorts to him. Bite his ears, go up and scratch him. And, but Harry and Bingo do not get on at all. Oh, it's a shame, but they can't always get on, can they? No. Um, June Woodhouse has got, she says she loves her skinny dogs, Greyhound and Lurcher. Um, Pamela is currently watching with one of her Bengal cats. There's, there's so many people have got dogs. So Reena Hurst has said she loves her son's French bulldog and he loves her back. Always excited when grandma comes. We do, we, we are dog parents and dog grandparents as we well. Are. Def definitely. And like I said, they bring so much comfort to people, don't they? I mean, we were, after we lost Alfie, we got Harry pretty soon after. Mm -hmm. And we weren't going to. No. But his image popped up on David's computer one day and off we went to see him, oh. just fell in love. So he was close by, was he? Yeah, not far at all. And, um, and we're, we're glad we, you know, rescued yeah. him. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, myself and Maria as well, we are so in love with our rescue dogs. Um, Maria, are you shaking your head there today? Is yes. she nodding? <laughs> I'm not sure. She's 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 too far away for me to see. I can see her head moving. I think she's agreeing with me. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. But um, but mine came from Spain and Marie's came from was it Romania? It's Slovenia. Slovenia. Yeah. It's uh, miles away and certainly not round the corner. Right. Okay. So what I've done is I've just layered up my card. Okay. I've used um. 3D foam tape just to layer it up, uh, a piece of frayed burlap with uh, a piece of string around it, okay, and I um, bought these little embellishments, MDF mm -hmm. embellishments, and I've just painted this one in a pale pink, Lovely. and I'm just going to add this paw print. Gorgeous. So just in case anyone's just joining us, while Claire's and the finishing touches to her first demonstration. Um, we have got some offers on the new Daisy May design collections that you're seeing. So Claire is now demonstrating Grooming Marvellous, which is all about the dogs and the grooming. Um, absolutely beautiful five stamp set in this collection. We then also have, which we'll show you in a short while, Love is in the Air. And Claire's going to demonstrate that. There's a dash hound in that one, which is, well, two, which are so cute. Yeah, they are. Um, so from these two collections, if you're picking any items that total over £20, you're then going to get 20% off of your order. That's your offer for today. Um, we've also got brand new nesting dies. These are cross-stitch edge nesting dies. And you can see Claire has used that on her, or just one of them, on her cards there. She's just showing you uh, another cutout. This is one of the smaller nesting dies with the squares. They are beautiful. They've got this textured cross stitch edge to them, which is absolutely perfect for this style of card. Um, these are usually $13.99 each, which is a great price for any nesting die, but they've come down to $24.99 if you are buying two, so two for $24.99. Um, I've got lots of examples. Do you want to show the examples? Yes, I can yeah, show you some. Yeah, you can do that. Um, we've got lots of examples to show you, in fact. Am I showing to this camera? Yes. yes. Shall we do that, Maria? Maria's on camera, is that okay to go close up? Okay, that? so this is an easel card, and I've used the uh, nested cross-stitch arts here. Okay. Stunning. And really, I've just let... I've used quite a heavy pattern paper here in red and pink, which I like that combination. I know a lot of people don't, but I've used a little uh, Westie dog on here mm -hmm. and I've just let the image speak for itself. Oh, it's stunning. And the way you've coloured it as well, I can see you've used that shading technique. I'm yeah, really this is shading. no line colouring. Um, in a few weeks, 
uh, I'm going to be doing a craft along. Yay! Can, so I, you can, can I mention it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm yeah, going I'm to be doing uh, a colouring craft along. So uh, why not come and join me with your stamped images and your pens, wh whichever pens you like to use, and we can sit and uh, do some colouring and I'll be answering some questions. Yeah, so that's going to be on craftworld.com. And I think we're going to be sharing it to this Facebook page as well. That is on Wednesday the 10th of 10th February. 10th of February, yeah. uh, I believe it's 2 o'clock. Is that what we agreed, Claire? Did we say oh, I'm not time? sure of the time, but 2 o'clock is fine. We'll say me. 2 o'clock for now. Yeah. Keep an eye on social media because, um, you know, things change, but I'm pretty sure 2 o'clock, Wednesday the 10th. But note your diary. If you've ever wanted to do more colouring, uh, particularly with the alcohol pens, Claire is your master. She's going to do a free craft along. Yeah, so we will be just, you know, we will have the time to sit and actually colour mm. in and, you know, any problems, you know, any queries you have, just message in and I'll be able to answer any problems you've got. And we've got our poodling rollers. Love that, absolutely love that. Uh, so many people are saying that, that, you know, they must join that craft along, they're looking forward to it and can't wait. So I think you'll have lots of people joining you. I hope so. Okay, it would be hard babbling on in front of the camera if nobody's actually sat there. So do come and join. I'll, def I'll definitely be watching. I'll be at home that day, but I'll be watching because I want to learn. Okay, this is our little uh, bulldog tag. Okay. Gorgeous. So that's the same bulldog as you've just used. Just the same page. bulldog, just a different, um, you know, uh, format. I've used the tag dies here. And can you see, once you ink the edges, that cross, cut cross, actually really stands out. It does, yeah, beautiful. Uh, a lot of no line colouring in these cards. On this one, we've got the little Dalmatian and the Pussycat. For my perfect friend. <laughs> okay, and I just use white card here, just let the stamps speak for themselves. And in the background, I've just stamped the uh, paw print and then gone over in glossy accents. So I was going to say, you won't be able to see on the camera very well, um, because I've seen it in real life. Those little paw prints with the glossy accents over them are absolutely beautiful because, of course, they're raised. They always look they like, are. I suppose you could do heat embossing as well to you give could. them a raised glossy effect. Yeah. But the glossy accents really works well, and I've even... Done the little Dalmatian's nose in it as well. Ah, oh, little glossy nose. Yeah, and then we've got the naughty pussy cap with the fish bowl <laughs> where he's trying to hook the fish. Adorable. So many people have also said that they have cats as well as dogs or instead of dogs or whatever it may be. Yeah. So this is definitely going to appeal. And of course, you've, you've coloured in a ginger cat there. Yeah. It could be any colour. Of course, it could, yeah. I've coloured in a ginger cat. I've coloured in a. I don't know, a beigey looking stripy cat. <laughs> Going back to my ginger cat now. And again, I've, I've let the papers have um, really made this pop, I think. Mm -hmm. And so I've just let it left it pretty plain. Love that. Cut a fancy edge on the bottom and a black sentiment sending bubbles of love. And just tweaked it with a few. Sequence. That is beautiful with that pop of colour at the bottom. That really does stand out. Yeah. I think that's maybe one of my favourites so really? far. Mm. And again, same paper, inked, distress inked circle, but not using the whole of the circle. This is the cross stitch circle again. Love that. Oh, with just the let, on his head. Yeah, just letting the again the stamp speak for itself. Absolutely. That is so pretty, and I love how, so you've perfectly matched up your pens, the colouring with the papers there. Yeah. Um, somebody just asked, uh, sorry, I've got to go back. Uh, Jacqueline Smith has asked what pens you use, so we were just saying you love your Copics. So I you love my Copics. Copic Sketch and Copic Chow. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. yeah, so definitely if you're looking into purchasing your first alcohol pens. If I'm, you can afford them, and I know it's a, it's a, a financial thing with the the copics i don't have anything to do with them but i do buy the pens mm. and if you're just starting out off you know invest in a few of the chows 
and you won't regret it, definitely. No, I, won't I, would, regret I would say it. probably if someone's thinking about starting to colour and stamp images, join your craft along, watch the techniques, learn, you're going to learn so much, and then you can, I'm sure you'll give lots of advice. Oh, on yeah, pen, yeah, yeah. Pen buying and things then. Yeah. Then we've got our naughty beagle and his little dog house. <laughs> his kennel. Oh. I dog think he has actually is in the doghouse for chewing the trainer. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Mine is every time he chews a trainer. <laughs> and last but not least, we've got Fifi's. Okay. Now, now, I love this because that window scene, you can completely cut out the dog and the groomer and have a window with absolutely anything behind to match with your other stamps and dyes and things that you already have at home as well so it's a really versatile stamp set there you've just given me an idea oh, actually. Hello, what's yeah that? i'm going to put a window full of pussy cats in it yes i think that would look quite good perfect that would be yeah. lovely definitely okay, so and can i have i got time to yes, show absolutely. these so glynis has also done some beautiful cards for us um, now these are interesting because she's stuck with um the daisy may design paper packs and you'll see how well the polka dots and the checks and things really work with the colouring that she's done. She's also gone for a, a bright look as well. Yes. To inject some happiness into I just love this pink poodle. <laughs> just love it. So Claire, when you need it, when, you, when you're a little bit older, a lot, lot older, are you going to have a pink wash like that? No. No? Oh. No. My nan used to have a blue rinse. Yeah, my nan has purple ones. Yeah, purple rinse. Blue rinse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did. Okay, pink. so okay. that's a real pizzazzy card, isn't it? And Glenys has used the uh, tag and made a card from it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Beautiful. and just nested them up Lovely. and then just decoupaged the hairdryer. <laughs> So that's the all bottles. included, the yep. hair dryer, the scissors, bottles. Yep. And then I love this. She's the Daisy, one of the Daisy May papers. Nested circle dies with the little cross stitch. And then the bathtub with the little doggies in. But she's glittered the bubbles. Oh, that's Okay, perfect. so just see. Oops. How different. That's with the glitter. Can you see the twinkle? Yeah, we can just about catch that, And yes. that's just with the the Copic markers. That is beautiful, it really is. So they are just lovely, those. We've got a few in the background as well. So thanks a lot for those, they're lovely. Absolutely, they are gorgeous. So the papers that you saw in the back of Venus's, um cards there, the bright colours, the stripes, the spots, they are from your paper pack. They pads. are, there's stripes, spots, and gingans. Yes, so we've still got those in stock. They are an amazing price of only five ninety nine for eight by eight inch paper packs. So make sure you stock up on those because they will go with so many different collections. I know you've done a lot of talking, Claire, but are you happy to go into another a second demonstration? Yeah, of course. Of course I I don't, Claire's doing my job for me. I don't really need no, to push her out of the way. That's fine. But, but I mean, I'm not, I don't want to. You to think I'm hugging the camera. No, <laughs> no, you carry on. We're halfway through the hour already. It's perfect time. Okay, right. So I'm going to be using uh, So Long stamp set. And when I designed this, I, you know, at the time, it was one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and as I was saying, just before I came out this morning, uh, my stamps actually arrived. Yes. So, <laughs> yesterday, I had to ask for the images to be sent at the size Look at these. that they'd been reduced <gasps> to. Okay. They are the cutest dash hands I've ever seen. I mean, obviously, your colouring really, really brings them to life. Thank you. They are so adorable. They make me want to squeal. Does anyone else do that? I don't know it's very girly. I just really? love this colour combination as well. Yes, it's, it's so, okay. so pretty. So we've got her and we've got him, but we could do have two misters or we could have Absolutely. two misses, whatever. Definitely. Okay, so again, 
I've um, die cut a square like so and then I've taken a piece of cardstock the same size as the square and I'm going to put it over this mm -hmm. can you see there what I'm doing yeah you're in shot now do I need to no you're fine so that's the aperture yeah and I'm just going to stick it down okay all will become clear in a minute I promise <laughs> just tell me if I'm going on too long oh no definitely not you couldn't go on too long we love watching you I mean you just Whenever you're crafting, whenever I sit and watch your demonstrations, you take so much time and care over them. And each card, finished card is absolutely perfect. It's oh, precise, it's beautiful. I mean, you've got that handmade look, but it still looks professional. Oh. And this is the feel we get from your stamps as well, from the hand drawing. It's perfect. It's just Thank so pretty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to distress this circle okay so I've just cut a stencil I'm going to use some distress inks uh, pink raspberry worn lipstick and festive berries mm -hmm. okay and I'm hoping on this uh, blending tool that there is enough ink and I won't have to add any more ink to it for the time being okay. because I just want a soft look right Okay, so I'm just going to take some of it out and then I'm just going to go round. So you've just put a little bit on your mat yeah. and then picked that up. And that's a, is this a resistant mat? Um, it's just a craft mat. Yeah, so a glass mat would work the same. Oh, okay. I use a glass mat at home. Okay. But I remembered I didn't want to uh, then have ink all over your cutting mat. I think we did that before, didn't we? Yeah. We used the cutting mat. <laughs> um, Elizabeth McKay has said, sorry, McKay McKay has said, the hand drawing is wonderful, such a talented artist. Oh, there. thank you. Uh, Suzanne Taylor has said she loves watching you just chilling on a Friday afternoon. Um, so you should oops. see me when I'm pulling my hair out in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, don't, do. we don't see that bit. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure you just sit back with your feet up. You just sketch these designs without a thought. It just comes so naturally. Roll with it, Claire. It's fine. Okay. So that leaves us with a very pale pink circle. Perfect. And that's just from an off cut or a negative die cut. Yeah. So then. I'm going to take my heart stencil, okay, which some of you may have. Okay. Which, do you remember now where this, the collection this came from? This was from um, the Christmas collection, believe it or not. I do remember, because that was the last one we saw, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, Rina asked, did you mix the colours with your inking? Yes, they have been mixed. Yeah, so all over, you didn't have one patch of one colour? No. Just a mix. Is there a reason you mixed your colours yeah. while going? Because I didn't have any, I thought I had a sponge sugar. Oh, okay. But it had dried out. So ah. it was a case of uh, just having a mix and a... Uh, so I need, I need a new. Uh, Sue Pollock says she can't think of anything better than watching Claire. Oh, too kind. Um, Marsha has said she loves your new collection. Claire, you're so talented. And then Madison has replied she is definitely a great artist. Oh, thank you. Um, still lots of comments about people's dogs, what they've got, the names, um, their personalities. Um, there's... A lot to see here, isn't there, with all of these different breeds of dogs? Oh, definitely. And I, I know I've not included everybody's. No, well, I was going to say, I'm sure there's room for another a second there collection. There will be. And I know not everybody's a doggy person, um, so I have, like I say, included some cats. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's cats in there. There's, but then there's the toperies and things as well, yeah. so you can always use 
So I've gone over first with the worn lipstick over the stencil. So I want some parts to be darker than others. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the a touch of the festive berries. Just a touch. Are just you doing a touch. it just around the edge or no, just to one side I okay. think. And hopefully this might hope I hope it's worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will have done. I'm sure so you can take everything off. Okay. And just give oh, us a really, really soft background. Perfect. So you've got all of that stenciling just done in the circle. So it's perfect. This yeah. is what I mean about Claire. She's just so precise and so perfect all the time. It must be a shame. It really does. No. I think I'm a bit slapdash with my crafting. <laughs> I'm usually in a, in a hurry to move on to the next Takes project. all sorts to make the world go around. That is very true, Claire. She says the right things. <laughs> Okay, so oh no, this, this is mine, isn't it? Okay. It doesn't matter. Use whatever. I'll be using them if you don't. Okay. Go. So I've now put that onto my stamp pad. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this balloon just for the tail of it. Okay. Okay. These are my little pre-coloured images, okay, mm -hmm. and what I did to get the, because I've not got any die cuts with this collection, what I did was I stamped, and if I show you on this, it can make more sense, got a pencil, right, and then just went round. So, if you're not a brilliant at cutting out, just follow the pencil line. Right. Move the paper. So you move the paper, not the scissors. Well, a bit of both, really. <laughs> and I'm just cutting on that line, and it will give you a nice neat. So you get an, you know, it's the na the same depth. Yeah. All yeah. the way round. Lovely. Okay. Brilliant. Just let's check where I want that. See all of these little tips and tricks. If you join Claire for her craft log on the tenth of February at two p.m., you'll be able to watch back if you're at work and things. But obviously, if you want to ask live questions, uh, you'll need to be with her from two p.m. onwards. Um, you'll learn all of these, you'll learn a lot more I'm sure as well, uh, but it'll be just clear, I won't be talking over, I won't be interrupting and uh, telling you about new collections or anything, it'll just be clear going through colouring techniques and things like this with you. So I've just inked the balloon there, mm -hmm. okay, let me see, what I'm going to do is then just pop the actual blue over just build the image up a little but I've that. still got the so have you curved that slightly or is it just yeah one? what I'd normally do is use a ball tool okay just face do down palm of your hand rub okay I haven't got my tool with me today right. and then I'll stick it on in a minute when my heat gu uh, glue gun's just heated up okay okay and then it's just a case of, I know it's the same shape as the other card, sorry. It doesn't matter at all, does it? I'm going to go through those nesting dies when um, Claire has finished her demonstration so you can see the different shapes and sizes. Obviously Claire, is, Claire has been using square ones today. Um, you didn't use the circle nesting die, did you, for... No, I just no, used a one. plain circle you could use the circle nesting die and just use the negative and then use the mm. circle you've cut out 
for something else. Yeah, that, it might be nice actually if you do that, do the stenciling and then maybe just emboss the die yeah. back in so you get that cross stitch effect around the edge anyway. Um, there's lots of different tips and techniques. This is what we get over at Craft World. This is what we get on Craft Stash on the demonstrations on Friday as well. Um, there's always tips and techniques and we bring in experts such as Claire exactly for this. Okay, so now I'm just going to stick that on there quickly. Need a little bit of glue. Remember, mm -hmm. less is more. Less when, is when it comes to glue. Yes, it's, it's surprising how sticky wet glue is, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want to warp your paper and card. Okay, so first of all, we'll stick on our. That's hot. Be careful. <laughs> it's hot glue, it's going to be hot. I know, but I get in such a mess with the. Uh, Blue gel. I've yes. stopped using it. Yeah. I'm very similar. I do get very messy with it. So then, place that on there. Hello, Mary, just joining us. Um, Benita cannot choose what to buy. She's asking, how can, how can she choose? Um, Cheryl Thomas has said she's not very really good at fussy cutting. She blames it on her scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Deborah Powman, she loves the way this balloon string hangs on the stamp. Uh, I'm just checking, make sure there's no questions. If you have posted a question, I've missed it. I apologise. I'm sure Claire later when she's home will go I do, the I do go through the comments and I do answer questions. Lovely, perfect. Oh so, dear. so she will get back to you. Obviously Claire's not watching the comments whilst she's demonstrating. Oh no. <laughs> you say you're getting in a mess with um, gel glue, but yeah. you're making oh, a good yes. job of it today. <laughs> but I do love my adhesive remover. Ah, oh, let me do that for you. Just pinned on the floor. Yes, it has. There we go. Okay, and it is fantastic for taking off any adhesive residue whether it be from glue mm -hmm. glue dots double-sided tape anything i couldn't be without mine if you're wondering what claire's using it's this it's the adhesive it's like a piece of rubber isn't it, it almost is. we've got it's them on craft stash if you pop to the essentials section on craft stash we have all of these items we have um blending mats we have all of your tools essential glues and things but Things like this, pick up tools as well, they're all there um, at really, really great prices. Okay, so we'll put her there. Ah, oh, so Amanda has asked what gel glue, please. Would you gel, like to explain that? Gel glue is something like a pin flare. Yes, so it's a thick, it's clear a thick, gel. Yeah, it's not like a. You colour photo glue. Yeah. It's for giving dimension. You use it especially for decoupage and things like that. So for it, building up projects. Yeah. It remains with its dimension even as it dries. Yes. Um, I love to use it. It's a bit smelly, isn't it? Because it the often... pin flare one doesn't smell, but it takes. Whereas that's. Dry, dry it? now it takes a while to dry to dry so if you've made something in a craft group or something you have to be careful when you're transporting it home not to knock it yes otherwise I usually find in a warm room an hour and it'll be set quite solid for me but um, I suppose it depends how thick you put it on it does yeah and I find the best way is to use a syringe yes a lot of them come with them, don't they? Yeah. Um, lots of people are saying that these have fallen in their baskets, don't tell their husbands, no. things like that. We've got all of this chat going on. Um, Linda with a Y has asked, how did you get the jagged edge? Is it dye? I'm actually going to show you those dyes, Linda, in just a moment. And thank you to Linda Worth for replying to that for us. Um, 
just to finish off, I'm just adding. Here's a lot of husbands. I need a pickup tool. Uh -huh. Yes, have you not got yours with you? No, I've not got one. I need to get one. Uh, Madison Walsh has said, yes, I need to get, I need to get all of these collections. Uh, Kenny has, or Kenny and Flo, I'm not sure who it is, Kenny and Flo Swinford, please tell me about your glue gun, because we can just see it in the corner. Right, it's a uh, Bosch glue gun. Mm -hmm. It's rechargeable. Yes. Okay, so you don't have to... So there's no cable, no cord. No cable or cord. Um, you just knock it on, wait for the green light to stop flashing, and it's good to go. It heats up in a minute or two. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't take long at all. You just pop your... Very handy if you go out and about crafting, isn't it? Yeah. Um, how long does the charge last on that? Oh, a good hour. Yeah. Yeah. And it automatically knocks it. If you leave it and forget to knock it off, it will knock itself off there we go. as well. But what I like most is the, the ballpoint precision tip on it. It's a tiny, fine, fine tip, yeah. isn't it? I find, uh, so my favourite at the moment, we all have our favourites, don't we? So, mm -hmm. um, with keeping with keeping it fair to every brand, I'm loving the Sizzix glue gun at the minute. Um, again, it's got a reasonably fine tip on it, but I, I absolutely adore it. And there is... Here's, here's, here's the um, the thing with mine. There's 40% of the selected Sizzix products as well. Yeah, so right. just slot that in there. Um, yeah, so on over on Craft Stash, you'll find 40% off of some Sizzix products and tools. So pop over there and have a look at that because we don't often get 40% off such huge brands. It still burns just like all the others do. Exactly. You get it on your skin. <laughs> okay, and there we have. I would stamp a sentiment on that just to finish it off. And a wood and some glossy accents to that balloon as well. Where would you put the glossy accents? Does just on the balloon. Oh, yeah, of course. That it's, is stunning. You know, you won't lose your de detail in the colouring. No, at all. no. Beautiful. But see how well it works just with those hearts in the background. Um, Cheryl said it's stunning. Martha said so cute. Love that card. Um, so lots of love for that. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. So, um, as soon as you've finished clearing up your bits and pieces, I will let you clear up afterwards. I won't sh no, show you our studio straight away. Um, <laughs> I've got some things to do. Um, would you like to have be watching the comments while I'm doing oh, my next bit? Oh, whether I can multitask. So <laughs> she, she can't, oh, she can't walk in a straight line. She's that excited. <laughs> so I'm just going to pass you your chair back as well. You may have Thank to sit you. down. Thank you. So, it's my job. I've just had a lovely sit down. I've had a well of a time. I've just been sitting, watching the comments and watching Claire craft. But I'm just going to bring in one element that we haven't looked up close yet. And that's these nesting dies. These are fantastic. Now, they are new. We have had other shapes before in a similar style. But these are, if I go through the designs, your hearts. We've got your circles. We've got your squares. We've got your stars. Wow, they look amazing. We've got the labels as well. And then we've got the tags. Now these all have, I'm just going to bring these into this close-up camera just so you can see, and I'm sure you've already seen from um, Claire's designs, the gorgeous stitch edge around them. And they are absolutely beautiful. So uh, rustic, so natural. You can do this in white cardstock, craft cardstock. You can, as Claire said, actually stitch into them as well if you want to. Just inking really brings them out. So I'm just going to show you an example here. So just around the edge, hopefully you can see that stitch edge. That's one of the tags there. You've used them a lot, actually, Claire. They are beautiful. Thank you. So these are usually £13.99. But if you're buying any two at the moment, it's $24.99. And this is definitely what I would call an essential for your stash. So many of you were asking, what is that jagged edge and things that Claire was using? This is what she's been using during her demonstrations. And also, actually, I'm just going to bring this in too, because this is a card done by a lovely Glynis. She has used the labels on there too but she's also used some beautiful papers in the background now these papers are what i call an essential a staple to your craft stash 
because these can work with so many different colours and collections and designs. There's polka dot, there's stripes, and then stripes there's gingham. And there's gingham. So yeah. these are all from Daisy Made Designs, eight by eight paper pads, lots of different colours in there. These are only five ninety nine. If you're topping up your basket with the brand new Lovers in the Air and Grooming Marvelous, pop some papers in as well from Daisy May because they are going to work so so well with everything else. And they're a nice weight too, one hundred and eighty. One hundred and eighty GSM, which is an absolutely brilliant weight for paper. So it's almost your card yeah. stock. Your matting and layering is going to look really and feel really professional. They're single sided, aren't they? As they well, they are. So you don't have to choose what side you're getting. I do have some winners. Can I just take you my card? You can because I don't know what's up no, to it. You haven't done anything. You've just turned it round. Don't worry. I'm going to just find some winners. Just bear with me while we get those. While I'm while I'm actually getting these up, I need to tell you we've been talking a lot about the craft along that Claire's doing on the 10th of February. Now there are two other craft along dates for you to put in your diary as well. These are completely free. They are free for you to come along, bring along whatever you want to do and just craft along with us. If you don't want to craft, that's fine. You can sit, have a coffee and watch, but we'd love you to join us. This is just to get you through this lockdown, keep you crafting and keep you feeling like you've got some people with you to craft along with. So I am doing my own one this coming Wednesday. So that's going to be at 6 p.m. Then we have Helen Griffin doing hers on the 3rd, the following Wednesday. This is every Wednesday. Hers is going to be at 2 p.m. And then I believe Claire's is going to be at 2 p.m. as well on the 10th. We all, of course, are different designs. We all have our different ways of crafting, our different styles. So you're going to learn different tips from each of us. I'll be advertising very soon and promoting across Craft Stash, across Craft World and everywhere. What I will be doing, so keep an eye out for that. It's actually going to be a bit of home decor, but I'll incorporate lots of techniques in there for you. Helen, of course, is going to do something really fun as well. Usually something three-dimensional with her, but who knows, it's very technique-based, so you'll learn lots. So they're the craft logs. Oh, actually, did you did you catch um, last this week, two days ago, Christina Griffith's craft log? If you didn't, it's still available for you to watch back. She was showing you how to, well, first she made a beautiful heart box, but then she showed you how to decorate it and how to decorate lots of other boxes and cards and things, how to bring your flowers in, how to make flowers as well she did with us. And alongside her craft log, there's a special offer code for 30% off of card making magic products. If you did miss that, go over to craftworld.com. You can find the link and find the code over there. It's easily marked, so just check out the Craft Stash Expert page. You'll find the code in there. That offer won't run for a lot longer, so make sure you check that out soon. Should we do these winners, Claire? We I did have it, and then I talked so much, I've lost it again, so let's just open my phone up. Okay, uh, if I'll do, shall I do one and pass it to you? Yeah. We'll sanitise our hands and everything we have done beforehand, we will do afterwards. We've actually got, it's quite a funny story, we've got some very steep stairs up to this studio. And this hand sanitizer halfway up, it's actually a bit of a respite, we love it. So we have done our hands at every opportunity <laughs> up and down those stairs. They're right though, aren't they? Yeah. It's a nice place. So the first winner I'll announce is from Facebook. And I think I did speak to you as well, I read out some of your comments, and that is Linda Worth. Congratulations, Linda. Congratulations. Lindy. You will win some of these brand new Daisy May products. I'm just going to hold that for you. Can you see the, the second one there? Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> no, it's gone off. <laughs> Bear with me. I don't okay. do technology. YouTube, from YouTube. Uh, from YouTube, Truth Seeker. Well done. There we go. So I guess that's a, that's probably not your real name, but if it is, mm -hmm. lovely name. Um, and lastly, from Craft World, because of course we are live on all three platforms. On Craft World, we have got, um, we've got Kit at Cat. That's a fantastic Ooh. name, actually perfect with the, the cats that you've got the in theme. the stand set. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget the Daisy May collections that we've got here. You have got any, uh, oh, spending over 20 pounds on any of the two collections, Love is in the Air and Grooming Marvelous, you're going to get 20% off. So make sure you pop those in your basket together. I would definitely be looking at those nesting dies and those paper pads at the same time. If you're looking at tools, as we were talking about some tools here a lot, you've got Sizzix has got up to 40% off as well. So make sure you have a browse of those products while you're there also. 
join us for the craft along on Wednesday. I'll be there at 6 p.m. Um, definitely join me and ask some questions. It doesn't have to be crafting questions if you don't. Well, if you want to know what I had for my tea, that's fine. I'd love you to just join me anyway, <laughs> even if it's just with a cuppa. I will see you there. Hopefully, we will have Claire back as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Can I just say? Yes, definitely. Leaning. One, leaning. Come on. Oh, one one little awesome. hello. Of course, absolutely. To my big grandson, Milo. And he's not very well today. He's oh, He's a little it. bit poorly, so... Hi Milo. Hi oh, Felix. Is he what are they watching? They are. And I think he's probably a little bit younger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. just eight weeks old he is. So <laughs> grandma loves you. Get better soon. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so lovely. So yes, from both of us, thank you. So thank you, Claire. Thank I have you to say for thank having you. me. No, we ab we absolutely love every time you come in. Thank Hopefully you. it will only be a matter of weeks Hopefully. before we get back. And thank you all for watching, commenting and sharing. We will see you all. I will see you on Wednesday. We'll see you next Friday for one more live. Again, you've got me, but I've got a brand new textures launch for you next Friday, which I'm really excited to show you. So I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.